I'm here at home today to show you how to clean your telescope mirror without any uh, exotic uh, cloths or cleaners or solvents. Uh, we're just going to do it in the kitchen sink. Um, the first thing we really want to do is prep our area, get everything cleaned up, uh, put all the dishes away. The woman in your life will love you. Um, I use a uh, plastic coated rack in the bottom of the sink. You may either want to use this or you can get um, just rubber mats in the dishwashing section at the grocery store. Got my mirror over here ready to wash sitting on a soft cloth uh, so I don't chip it on the hard tile. And then over here I've got another cloth ready to receive it. We're actually going to stand it up when we're done and just let it kind of drip dry. So the first thing we'll do is just gently lower it into the sink onto our mat or rack. And then we're going to turn our water on. And what we want to do is just let the water flow over the mirror for a few minutes to loosen any particles. So we're just going to you know, gently hose our mirror. If you've got a spray head like this, this is really good. Otherwise, just an, a normal uh, sink faucet rump will work. So after we've just gently rinsed it for a while, we're going to use some dishwashing detergent. I use Dawn. This direct foam stuff is kind of cool, but it doesn't have to be. So we'll put a few spritzes of this on there. Then I'm just going to use my hand, and I'm going to gently massage it around. And when you do this, you'll actually feel particles stuck to the mirror. And you just kind of want to gingerly dance over those and roll them off a little bit. You don't want to, you know, press so hard that they catch and slide because that's how you cause scratches. So I'm just kind of gently massage it a little bit and we'll wash it again with fresh water here. And then maybe a little more soap. So I just soaked and rinsed it a few times. I'm not going to obsess about getting every last little particle off. And we'll rinse it off here. The, the main thing to remember is when you're handling your mirror that when the edges come in contact with the hard sink, that's when you cause chips. So you want to be very careful not to ding it around. Just move slow and thoughtfully. So now that we've done this a few times, we're just going to turn the water off and stand our mirror up, let it drain for a second. Now if, you, if you'd like to, you can give it a final rinse with distilled water, but it isn't totally necessary. It just depends on the hardness of your local water. Um, and then we're just going to stand it up up against uh, the wall like this and uh, the best thing to do is forget about it. Go watch an episode of Dirty Jobs or Deadliest Catch. Come back in an hour and so here we're about an hour later and our mirror is completely dry and on one edge I've got a little tiny water spot because I didn't use distilled water which is okay for me because um, I'm not paranoid about the ultimate cleanness of this mirror. So if you do want that uh, you know ultimate perfection finish then Give it a final rinse before you let it dry. Uh, give it a final rinse with distilled water. And so the final thought is um, with all the discussion of elaborate cleaning procedures and alcohol solutions and uh, special lens tissues and peelable cleaners, uh, how can we actually just wash our mirror in the sink? And the answer is that our, our mirror has a top coating on it of either silicon dioxide or silicon monoxide. Uh, which is very hard in itself and so we're not actually cleaning the aluminum we're cleaning a very thin layer of glass on top of our aluminum and all aluminum coated mirrors have some sort of protective coating or else the aluminum just wouldn't hand, uh, hold up.